Some of you may actually want to listen to your parents point out. Uh, but uh, to make things shorter, we'll skip straight to uh, Captain Huff is going to lead us in innovation. Uh, so, Dan? All right. All right, guys, let's just have a quick word of prayer as we get ready to start the, the ceremony this afternoon. Heavenly Father, we come before you, Lord, we're humbled and grateful for the opportunity to be here. Lord, we're unworthy to even stand in your presence, but we come to you, Lord, because of the sacrifice that you made for us and the blood of Jesus that covered our sin. I ask the Lord you be with the time we have together this afternoon. I pray the Lord that you bless it. I pray for Michael and Nita and their family. Thank you for the opportunity that he has now to uh, switch into a different role in the department. I pray the Lord that you give him wisdom to uh, know how to handle his new job, wisdom to make decisions. I pray that you help him to... Uh, to grow into that position, that uh, his leadership ability would be such that his men would follow him and he would be a good example for others to, uh, to serve this community. Thank you for him and his family, those that love him that are here uh, to celebrate this time. Thank you for the opportunity that you're giving him his life now to promote. I pray that you bless him. Uh, thank you for the years of service that he's already given to the community and those that he will continue to do in this new position or in other positions in the years to come. Bless him. Bless this time that we have together. In Christ's name. Amen. 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 Starting tradition sometimes is, is kind of difficult. Uh, people are not used to, to new ideas sometimes, but that's what we've been trying to do here at the department. Uh, I've got a firm belief that the two biggest transitions that an individual makes is that first step when they step out of civilian life into the one of law enforcement. And then that next step, and it's really not as big on that line, it doesn't make a difference if you're lieutenant captain, assistant chief, wherever, but that first step when you become a first line supervisor, when you're going to start telling your officers that you used to work with shoulder to shoulder, what you need them to do. It's a difficult position because 
he's one of the guys, and he's got to listen to the people that he's working with, and he's got to listen to that main administrator griping at him every other day. Okay, so this is a this is not uh, an easy task. It's a difficult one, uh, but it's one that we have a tremendous amount of confidence that Mike's going to be able to transition to with much with not much of a problem at all. Uh, for y'all that, that may not know or have forgotten, Mike's been here since 1994. Uh, he's worked in various positions. He's worked at the uh, a Violence Against Women officer, which is a very trying uh, assignment. He's worked in patrol. <coughs> he's, gone, he's come out of patrol in the community or in policing. He's gone back into patrol. And there's lots of people that get these specialized positions that when they go back to regular regimented patrol, they don't work out so well. And Mike's not one of those. Mike has got the uh, tenacity and the ability that whatever the job is, he's going to do it, and he's going to do it to the best of his ability. And that's what he's done. So I'm not going to make a, a real long speech, because right now I'm kind of preaching to the choir. Law enforcement has probably got some of the darkest days ahead of it right now than we've seen in many years. And nobody can really tell exactly how bad it's going to be or what's going to come out of everything that's been taking place for the last two or three months. But it doesn't make any difference because we're here to do a job. We have a duty to perform, and that's what we're going to do to the letter of the law. With that, I'm going to shut up. So I don't want to bore you, make you go to sleep or anything. And I'm going to ask the city clerk, Janice Ellis, to come up. And Mike, if you'll come up for your oath of office. This is statutorily required, by the way. Okay, you'll raise your right hand. I'm Michael Bankston. I'm Michael Bankston. Do you solemnly swear? Do you solemnly swear? That I will faithfully. That I will faithfully. Execute the duties of. Execute the duties of. Office of Sergeant. Office of Sergeant. The Paris Police Department. For Paris Police Department. Of the City of Paris. Of the City of Paris. State of Texas. State of Texas. And will to the best of my ability. And will to the best of my ability. Preserve, protect, and defend. Preserve, protect, and defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. The laws of the United States. The laws of the United States. And of this state. And of this state. And the Charter. And the Charter. And the ordinances of this city. And the ordinances of this city. And I further solemnly swear. And I further solemnly swear. <laughs> that I have not. That I have not. Directly. Directly. Nor indirectly. Nor indirectly. Paid. Paid. Offered. Offered. Or promised to pay. Or promised to pay. Any public office. Any public office. Or employment. Or employment. As a reward. As a reward. To secure my appointment. To secure my appointment. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations, Sergeant Bateson. Thank you very much. as many places as you're buying a year. Okay. Right. Thank you, Ms. Ellis. Mike, you stay up here for a second. Let's talk about uh, traditions. This is a big deal. Being hired as a police officer is a big deal. Being promoted is a big deal. And what we'd uh, like to do is have the officer make a decision who he wants to put in his badge as a symbol of responsibility that he is now going to carry. And Mike, you've chosen? My father. Uh, Chief of Police, Mr. Bankston, over at Bonham PD. You'll come up now. Quite an honor, sir. Thank you. Quite a temptation. Let's speak to you. I know it's a short ceremony, it's a meaningful ceremony. Uh, I'm really impressed with the number of family here because I promise you folks, uh, all these guys wear these uniforms. If they don't have the support of their family, it's just going to make it that much worse. And so we appreciate you being here. Please feel free to take photos of what you need to do. Thank you for coming. That's it. <laughs> Thank you.
Why didn't you get in there? Now, if I don't get a picture of the back of my finger, we're going to be doing good here. 
Ready? Is it taking one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I got to get my camera. Already brought that up. Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. I want to hear that one. I know about the Poison Ivy. We've been in the hospital on that one. <laughs> You're authentic. Oh, Avon. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did. I worked real hard. <laughs> and then I took off early. They didn't know when I left. Yeah. 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 Yeah.